Yeah. And shout out Good yeah, TV out for good pulling TV, us up too. For having us come here and all that. Lit. What's up, good? It's gang. You know what we're about. We're bleeding the block of the best in underground hip hop and rap here in New York City and beyond. And yup, I'm still stuck in Boston, to be exact. We're in Cambridge, Harvard Yard. And for all the young viewers of the channel, crack a book. It wouldn't kill you. You don't need to be the next big rapper or the next big athlete. Focus on those studies, and you could be in a great campus like this with all this young talent. Speaking of young talent, we got Dot Blama and Mel Blama in the house from Wagner Houses in Harlem. They're going to be with us talking about their favorite cameramen, producers, their songs like Ready, Rambo, Dot Blama's song of Nula G's, which went viral. And they're also going to be talking about all the juicy stuff that I know you guys want to know, the drama with Sugar Hill, the politics in the Bronx and Harlem rap scene, and more on that in the interview. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this new episode of Good Hits. Remember, and nobody hit like what? Till I suck my dick when you run into me, better duck, little bitch. I don't miss on my curry when I throw little bitch. What's up, y'all? It's Good Hits TV. You know what we're about? We're bleeding the block for the best underground hip hop and rap here in New York City and beyond. Today we're going to Harlem. We got Dot Blama. We got Mel Blama in the fucking cut. You know how it is. We got Blama Boys up in here. Blama Boys Entertainment. Don't bees in the cut. <laughs> Wow. So what's up? Well, how are you guys doing today? It's chilling, Friday. Chilling. Good chilling. Vibes. Regular day shit. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. So I guess like you guys have been getting pretty good views in, in general and you guys have been buzzing more and more. So a lot of people are already tuned in, but some people aren't really tuned into the Bronx, like Harlem scene. Mm -hmm. So could you guys talk about like where y'all are from and when you guys start rapping? I'm from Wagner. I started rapping like when I was 13, like 2017, 2018. Yeah. Damn, Mel's a young prodigy. You guys do the math on his age right there. Or me? He's a, he's a young prodigy. Yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> my son go crazy too. Youngest son the whole. Listen, my son go crazy. Yeah, well, ain't gonna speak on that. Dog, are you from Wagner as well? Yeah, same place. Yeah. Wagner, born and raised. Um, do you guys like know each other growing up and everything? Yeah. Damn, holy shit. You start, when did you start rapping? Like, when I was like 17. Like, like, so that's, I'm, so I just turned 20 last month, so that got it, that's like three years ago now. Oh, damn, another young prospect compared to my old head ass. Um, yeah, so I guess what, what one, one thing that a lot of people have been talking about is just how many more, how much more buzz there is, how much more views there is, how much more attention there is on Harlem rappers, Harlem drill rappers, mm -hmm. and the Bronx drill rappers, even in the past year or so. Why do you guys think that is, kind of? Why do you think there's more attention? I don't know. Everybody into drill rapping now. Yeah. Like, everybody like that. Drill rap the thing right now. Yeah. That's what I feel like. I feel that. Do you guys consider yourselves, like, drill rappers, or do you not? Cause I'm a rapper. Like, I'm an yeah. artist. Yeah. Period. Yeah. I could, but my main topic right now is drill rapping. <laughs> like, Same for me. Is that because like more people are tuned into drill rap, or is that because that's what you as an artist enjoy making more? Yeah, yeah, I enjoy making drill rap. I more. feel like, whoa, it, it that that, more, that music more hype. Like, that's that energy. Like, that should turn you up. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. I feel like out of all of the like rap groups in New York drill. When you hear that blam, uh, blam on the song, there's like more energy. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> you know how like every set has their own like little thing they say, like, but mm -hmm. like that, it's just different. Like, nah, I don't that's... know. It's the best out of like the things you kind of like call out in those songs. Yeah. Like out of any other group in, in New York City. Um, so I guess kind of just to like start off, like what are some upcoming projects you guys have dropping in the next month or so? Um, we definitely got it. Mixtape on the way. Oh, some like a fire. full project? Yeah, we definitely got a mixtape on the way. Some fire. We got more visuals dropping consistently soon. I feel so, right. Yeah, we work Respectfully. Right is it both of y'all on the mixtape? Is it like a joint release? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Made my mixtape. Um, who are, so like, what type of like, you said you got more visuals coming up. What type of cam, who, who are like the cameramen you guys have been working with mostly? Um, I've been working with my son friend. Yeah. Shout out my son friend. Respect Shout out my son friend. Shout out my son friend. Yeah. Out my son friend. I've been Definitely. working with him lately. Yeah. But right now I'm looking at other cameramans too. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna still work with him, but yeah. 
Yeah, you can't have the same yeah, one. Like, can't you, have the same cameraman for everything. Exactly. You gotta switch it up. That's just like having the same producer for You need to switch it up. Each cameraman. It's like has having the style. same flow on a song. Yeah. Like, that shit not gonna be it. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. So. What about other artists? Like, I feel like you guys work together a lot. Like, I feel like your best music is a like dot and mail. When it's like together, it's just unreal. But could you guys see yourself working with new artists like in the next few months have you been talking to some artists that are going to kind of like surprise fans surprise like y'all's yeah, following yeah well, I, well if we ever do sign with other people it's going to be like a surprise or something we're not going to say be. too much it gotta be yeah, we're not it gotta say be too much. you're not going to give it like gotta a hint be. or anything nah yeah we just going we're not even going to say he might not even just... be from new york the next feature yeah all right we just gonna shit really? like that. get the fuck out of here bro gotta be shit like that <laughs> what I feel that. I feel that. So speaking of features, Dot, I want to talk about a couple artists you've worked with recently. Let's first start with Mula. Mula G's. Like, mm -hmm. can you can you talk about that song? Cause it definitely blew up. Blew up. I'm talking about Honestly. No Running, of course. Dangerous. Free Lucy P. He was heavy on station. No cap, my little youngest is dangerous. Free Lucy P. He was heavy on station. Bitches of the what? Stop that! I feel the night. We click till it's done. Honestly, honestly, I'm keeping it hundred. We made that song off the head. Both of us. Like. <laughs> Gangster, that's the that's my son. You feel me? That's the guys. Yeah. That's the jet. I'm the jet. You feel yeah, me? Shout out 300. Shout out 300 guns. Those the, those the members. Fly that shit. You heard? Like, but yeah, that's the jam. The jet. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Hey, my son, like, yo, feel me? We was poor, no homo. We fake jacking each other music. You feel me? Bumping each other. Mm -hmm. Shit like that. Before we, I'm like, yo, fuck it. I hit my son, bro. Let's do a track, bro. Mm -hmm. You feel me? We jacking each other to him. He jacked it. But I fake hit him up mad long ago before we did this song, girl. Oh, and I just real? became the guys. Like, it was just fuck ass gang. Then he pulled up to the store. We did the track. In Yonkers or in, nah, it, in He Bronx pulled up or? to the store. I'll be in. Oh, work, work. Mm, my shit low key. I don't want Yeah, I feel that. I, I ain't gonna ask. Not on here. Yeah, yeah. But word, though. Pulled up to the store. Feel me? I already had the hook. Feel me? While he pulled up. I was recording. I already had the hook. Mm -hmm. I'm like, get on this. You feel me? And he got on it, jumped on it straight off the head. You already dumped out. My son went crazy, gangster. Um, the visual for that's like fire too, though. Nah, Who I shot mean, that? Who was the visual? That was Fran. That was Fran. Yeah, yeah. yeah. did a good job. Um, yeah, like for and for those who don't know, like I obviously know. I'm tuned in. Like I know who the 300 guys are, but could you explain like who 300 is? Because it's not just. Uh, Mula, it's like Belly Bells, like a few rappers, right? It's like pretty much a collective of different rappers. Honestly, I wouldn't. 300 Bop, you know, there's a few of them. The, the niggas you see, niggas you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 300. Yeah, yeah. Mostly rappers. Yonkers, though. They're all yeah. from Yonkers. From my perspective, I don't really. I know those are the guys, though. You know? mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As members. Mm hmm. Okay, we, we also got to talk about another rapper you uh, collaborated with, Justo B. Um, how was working with Justo, and um, what are your kind of thoughts on the situation where he got was all in the blogs and used? I'm talking about major blogs, DJ Academics, Vlad. You know, what I'm talking about like the major blogs. Like. Honestly, listen, that's my son. You heard? I feel that. Like, I feel that. That's my son. That's the guys. That's my like. Back then, that's that's that was just OB. Mm -hmm. It's the guys. Mm -hmm. That's like before all this shit, all this rapping shit, all this extra shit niggas doing now, nigga. That that was gang. Like mm -hmm. chill on my block, all that. Like that's my son. Wait, him. is Justo B from like Harlem? Like, I thought he's from Brooklyn, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, my son, he around. He be around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or, word word so i i think what are some like artists in the area like in harlem bronx that you guys have been jacking and listening to you mentioned mula g's you mentioned some of the guys out of yonkers are there other rappers you guys have been listening to and oh. and outside of new york what are some of like maybe some pop artists rappers that influence your sound or that honestly you, you listen to a i lot listen of? to mad little dirk bro oh yeah me too so i listen to a little bit of me man like mm-hmm mm -hmm. My son Dirk got the streets right now. He took that. Shit. He took that talk mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. I want to hear. Like, 
Definitely. I, I saw that on like social media, Lil Dirk said something recently. He said after this last album, he's not going to mention like dead ops names and songs or anything like that. Is that something that you guys think is like a good thing that you, you think more New York artists should do less of? And, you know, mm -hmm. I've listened to all of y'all's music. I know mm -hmm. everyone's guilty of it. I'm Honestly, not saying like... I got everybody got their own look, opinion. Everybody yeah. got pin, different opinion. Me, yeah. I don't... I'm the type of person I don't really... I don't, I'm not, I don't, I don't, I don't care type of person like you yeah. I got songs not mentioning dead ops and shit. Then I got the songs that's talking like that. You feel <laughs> me? It's, I got mad different music in the cut, bro. Like shit, you wouldn't be like, oh, that's, nah, that's not that blame of talking like that. Mm -hmm. Gangster. Mm -hmm. Word. Um, it's just all this shit. That's what he, mm -hmm. he probably feel like I, I, he richer than all the niggas. No dick sucking shit, you heard? Whoa. But but don't you think that like when you don't do it, it makes your music more marketable, right? Because it's like mm -hmm. no, because people outside of New York don't even know these people's names. They don't. They're not tuned into what's going on. So it's just like it might be better to not even name people in the songs because it makes it more pop friendly. You know what I mean? Like more people could listen to in the suburbs and shit like that. I don't know if you guys have an opinion on that, but. Do you do you guys so you guys aren't really listening to any of the other Harlem rappers like? Um, honestly, it's, honestly, it's not do hits. Yeah, but it's not. Oh, it's not, do you not do hits, dude? Yeah, but it's not like it's really a lot of like Harlem rappers. Yeah. It's not. It's it's a couple, but it's not a like. It's a it's Harlem, Harlem rappers, rappers, but they ain't not. You never listen a little bit to the options, and you know you're like, oh okay, I'm gonna see what it's about. He dropped a song like. I click it to see if niggas <laughs> mention my niggas, bro. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's the only time. <laughs> Like just to see if niggas mentioning niggas, I said if nobody sent me these music or nothing or I wouldn't I be in tune. I wouldn't know yeah. it came out. Yeah. None of that. If I don't scroll past it, I wouldn't even. So know. you're not. Have you ever li dot, have you ever listened to it and you're like, oh, this kind of goes like this is pretty good or not? You're like, nah, trash. niggas be garbage, bro. <laughs> niggas be garbage. Yeah, everybody just come. Yeah, they just be talking and talk. Yeah. And it and it be rap cap, so it'll definitely be pull. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Do you think there's a lot of rap capping and like drill in New York in general? Like people yeah. just be saying Hell shit. Yeah. A bunch, <laughs> a lot though. A lot of it from the east side. I'm talking on Harlem perspective. Like yeah. from the east side to the west side, there's a lot of rap cap going on. Wow. Has have you ever listened to a song and someone mentioned you or one of your boys and you don't even know the person? A lot That's, of them. <laughs> a lot. I ain't gonna lie, a lot. Shit, I'm sorry. This is, this It'd be cool. like. Why then do it, they do that? Though? It'd be people sending me the shit like I don't even know that cat, and it's not like oh, we, it's not it's not really us to do because you know, I I ain't giving nobody attention, man. So you do you, so do you think it's kind of like for clout or a little bit? Like some beef is generated for the views and for yeah, clout. That's how and I feel. Yeah. yeah, because I remember when I like when drill was first starting, I was listening to these two rappers Tazo B and. um Maury Blick, mm -hmm. yeah. now he, or Maury Briscoe, and they were kind of unknown, but they started beefing each other, and their numbers blew up. Now we all know who both these dudes are, and it's like, yeah. maybe it does make it more popular and shit. I don't know. Um, what what uh, like do you guys see yourself like moving away from drill and like ever doing something more melodic, or is that just not like really oh. y'all style? Yeah. You can do that. You see yourself making music. Have you made songs like that before? Hell yeah. Yeah, I got a couple. A I couple. Got a line. I got a couple. I'm a real nigga. I got a couple songs. That's not wait. It's true. just like unreleased. Yeah, yeah, it's unreleased. I don't even post snippets of that little shit. It's like gangster. Why? Because you're you're worried someone's gonna take it and then post it on YouTube or some shit. Nah, not even. It's that. just be like they not ready for that yet. Yeah, that's like yeah, that's, that's how I feel. Like, like they not ready for that type of me yet. You know? Like yeah. right now they gotta understand where I'm coming from with this shit. So I'ma talk my shit. But how like how much unreleased music that not post on YouTube, like I wouldn't even know about how much mm -hmm. you got on your phone? Like how much how many tracks do you got unreleased? I got songs that I lost all like, I don't even know. You lost them? We, Every right, rapper I interview right now, says that shit. They right like losing music. Right now we got a lot of unreleased though. I ain't gonna lie. They soon dropped them. For sure. It's when's when's weird. the next time you guys gonna be dropping music? Do you have something in the next couple of weeks? This week, probably, next yeah. week probably. Yeah, it's probably Friday next now. Week. Mm -hmm. yeah. We got like two videos about to come out. 
This Friday? Or yeah. this upcoming? Okay. Upcoming, like upcoming. Yeah. This Friday one coming yeah. out, not Yeah. yeah, yeah. The shit coming up, man. I'm sure. Oh hell yeah. This yeah, shit okay. coming up though, yeah. Is it is it just you both? Mm-hmm. Nice. What are some like do you guys work with like just one producer? Do you work with a few producers? Do you just find your beats on YouTube? Like how do you find your, oh, your sh- beats? Around? I ain't gonna like some some producers be sending me beats for me to like 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 drill shout beats. out my son Pro X you heard from that blame a freestyle producer he walked on that beat. Yeah, and I be looking I be looking at my son beat sometimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What are some producers that you want to work with? Um, like, I, don't, I don't really. I want to get no two producers. more producers. Like, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I only, like, I only know certain producers that they, you know, come up to me or whatever. Like, yo, you you nice. I want you to, like, rap on my beef. It's a drill beat. They send me, like, a little package or whatever. Then I write to it then. Mm-hmm. So you guys aren't, like, going out there and, like, paying for beats and stuff. You guys are at a level where producers will send you beats and you can just rap over those. I guess so. Yeah. That's what they be doing. Um, Dot, you said you want to get in tune with more producers. Are there some producers you have in mind, or are you just like, you know, if they, you're just kind of like I open need, to working yeah, with? Yeah, I gotta meet. I don't know a lot of producers like that. Mm-hmm. Or, Has anyone ever hit you guys up for like a feature that you don't know at all? They're just like hitting you up and they're they're trying yeah, to work together. Mad people hit me up for features. Word, word. Well, so Good Hits TV is creating a spreadsheet. We're gonna have a list of all the rappers I interview and then how much a feature costs from that rapper. So are you guys, could you guys reveal random dude off the street, kind of nice at rapping, I hits Dotto, how much? Huh? I need 1500 <laughs> Dude, Dot's taxing out here. Off the no, top. What, do you th- what are your thoughts? Charging 12. Ooh, damn, they taxing the out here. Shit, you heard it here first though. You heard it here off first. The top. If you, like, <laughs> Like if I fuck with your shit and, 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 and I'm, I'm gonna keep it on, there's no favoritism. Off mm-hmm. the top. Everybody. I feel 15, that. the lowest I could go is twelve. I feel yeah. that. I feel that. But off the top fifteen. Um, Mel, I saw a YouTube video where you were talking to uh Maddie G's. Could you kinda just tell me like what you think of that dude? I know he's <laughs> I know he's switched up because he's dropping music now, so I mean, like, I what do you think of his music? I don't, boys. I don't take him serious. Like, that's that's just a, a laugh for me. Like, I don't really take that kid serious. Like, it's just a joke to me. Have you listened to any of his uh, music? Only only when he, like, distance or something like that. I think it's only one song from that nigga. Well, yeah. What are your thoughts on his music? Just his music, specifically. Rap cap. Garbage. That's the definition right there. <laughs> just rap cap. <laughs> Um, Listening to too much Shy K, Matty G's, you're sucking. <laughs> um, speaking of Shy K, I saw a, another YouTube video, Mel, with you talking to Shy K. Like, what do you th- kind of think of his music and his style? I ain't gonna lie, he, he fake poop. Sometimes he be fake talk. I'm, I'm a real nigga, I ain't gonna lie. Like, he, he fake be talking or something, but he just. He don't, he just be talking bullshit at a certain time, but mm-hmm. he fake eye. That's just shaking his head. That's all that needs right. to be said on Certain that. songs, Question. he got like, he got a good two songs out. Yeah. yeah. I don't really listen to, I don't listen to him, though. Unless, like I said, like, only time I listen to people is when they, I somebody said they just listen All I do is one click, and you mention the gang, you won't even hear, you won't get another view from me again. Mm-hmm. Well, that's all I'm trying to see. If you mention the niggas. Yeah. That's it. I'm a blogger, so I like his music, but I also mm-hmm. really like your music. That's Not why yet. you guys are, yeah. you know, in front of me getting interviewed right now. Um, dude, what, so for people who aren't tuned in, especially a lot of people in Brooklyn, like this is a growing channel, you know, we started only a couple of months ago and we have getting close, we have around 300 subs on the channel and everything. And a lot of, a lot of the people who tune into my blog are from Brooklyn. They might not know what, what Blama even means. Could you guys kind of just... Tell tell us what that what that is what that means. Boom, double B. Blamer boys, that's it. That's us. It stand it stand I, for what it say. I body it. different. <laughs> that's that's, that's it. No more. No body less. different. Um, kind of moving moving along. Like, you guys have like a bunch of songs together. What do you guys think is like your most lit song? 
Like if you guys, if if Mel and Dot could be known for like one song, uh, like say I'm going to a record label, I'm going to the A and R. He's like, I don't have much time. Just show me one of their songs. What song do you guys pick? Response. I want a response. Response does. Uh, I agree. What about Rambo? Real my niggas, they soon be back. All the Peter Chief go your foot, bro. We go clap. I keep that 380 cause I cannot lie. I keep that 380 cause I cannot lie. Rambo, yeah, but spawn. Honestly, you know. Rambo niggas was playing around on that. Nah, it's just yeah. that it I came out fire. fire. It came out fire and we dropped it. Yeah. Well, he was playing around that, but like response though, that's that's all right there though. I feel that, I feel that. Every right, song we talk on though, but response though, for like that's out right now though. That's mm -hmm. yeah. So if if I'm if let's say like you guys get signed to a record label, I'm your A and R. I give you unlimited budget for a feature. Anybody in the in the world that you guys want on your song, who do you guys get for a feature? Uh, Any rapper. My son Dirk. I'll pee my son Vaughn. Mm -hmm. I'd have said Vaughn, but mm -hmm. y'all know what's going on. My son Dirk. I like Meek Mill's son. Dirk. Out of them two. I feel like those are good choices because whenever I ask that question in interviews, sometimes like like rappers will say some rapper that wouldn't even go with their song. They're like, I want Drake on my song. I'm like, okay, that would be cool, but Not it's like that would make sense. To my flow. I do a song with Drake though. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I do a song with Drake, but it gotta be some other shit. Like it can't be the music I make. Like I could go out of my culture, but if I want something that's gonna freely. Yeah. I gotta stay in my culture and go there. Cause Drake, like, Drake could drill rap. Oh, Vaughn, somebody like Drake could dead like he could, he could rap real drill rap. That was fake drill rap, but he has it. I know what you mean. But he he, could, he yeah. talked though, like he could. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Doc, you mentioned working with artists outside of New York. I think you mentioned that. Like, what are you are you talking to artists right now that are like outside of New York City to work with? Respectfully. Like, could you tell us what other what's other city? I don't even. I'm smacked. I gotta look at my <laughs> page. I ain't gonna front. I feel that. I gotta I look at that. my son page, but he know who he is though. Mm -hmm. When you see this, do you guys yeah. like? Do you guys like traveling and like working with people? Like, could you guys see yourself moving out of New York one day and like going somewhere else? Soon. Soon. Where? Where? What's the other cities you would go and and work in? Like I, I saw some Brooklyn rappers that moved to Atlanta and like they like it over there and they've been working. Moving to the Gans. Huh? Moving to Miami. Oh Miami. Where's oh, Lydia? No, I'm moving out here. Oh no. Where's so Lydia? It's lit every day in Miami. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is fucking lit. Um, I think we're coming kind of to like the end of the interview. Um, by the way, could you see yourself doing a song with Do Dot? Do Hits? Shit. I already got a song with it. got a song already. Is it out on YouTube? Hell yeah. yeah. Is there a visual? What's the name of the song? For the set. But that's oh, kinda, I'm dumb. Yeah, yeah, That's kind of old, though, you heard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. I like got it. some unreleased yeah, shit though. with D Dot, too. Like, that's really my, like, those, the L's, those are gods. Like, yeah. shout out to my L's. His flow yeah. is God. different as hell, man. He has free a pull the hound. Free, free pull the hound. My son be home in two weeks. You, you got another one. Yeah. 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 Respectfully. Like, free P hound. He be home in two weeks. Niggas know what's going on. So I guess we're kind of coming to the end of the interview. Is there any, anything else you guys want to shout out? Free Haji B. Free yeah. all free my members. Free, free Guns Hound. Free all my members. Free C. Right? Niggas like, respectfully. 2021 is out here. Like, that's all I'm going to say. You were like, double B's in the cut. None more to talk about. Shit. We're in a different type of time, man. I'm still smoking cheddar, you know it. Now I got some new options to mix it with. You jack out the old better shorts, when we slide through. Everybody get it.